Hi, welcome back again to the operation and management class for casting section. Opposite with the qualitative approach, quantitative approach rely heavily on historical data. Involve mathematical modeling and techniques and use when the situation is stable. The forecasting method using quantitative approach is commonly used to predict future performance of existing product with the current technology. Time series is a famous method of quantitative approach used by academician and practitioner. Time series is simply set of evenly spaced numerical data that is obtained by observing response variable at regular time period. For example, demand of existing product is time series data set at regular periods such as daily, weekly, and monthly. The forecast using time series is rely based on only historical data. No other factors is important since time series assume that factor influencing the past and present will continue to influence the future. Simple example of this assumption is the demand of product and service at the end of the year is increasing due to holiday season. The component of time series are random variation, trend, and seasonal. It is natural that data vary randomly following specific distribution function. The data variation is acceptable as long as it's fit with some distribution function. As we follow over time, time series data may develop trend that may be in the increasing or decreasing or even stagnant. For the forecast of demand, it is common to have trend since the demographic data such as number of population is increasing over time. The last component of time series we call it seasonal. In the longer period, for instance, one year, time series may develop several seasons, like sinusoidal pattern that has peak and valley. Demand for the fashion and clothing form a seasonal pattern following the natural season, such as spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Demand for the airline and other mode of transportation it is also follow the season of holiday, for example. Some famous time series model, we call it naive approach, moving average, exponential smoothing, and seasonal method. This model differs on the mathematical complexity and the assumption used by those. It should be underlined that the more complex model doesn't guarantee the accuracy. Many factors affect the performance of and accuracy of the forecasting method, such as the aggressivity of change of the data itself, the trend, and many other factors. If time series assume that historical data is the only factor affecting the future data, the other model, the associative method in quantitative approach, Assume that there are some factor, either individual or a group, that may affect the future data. Based on this assumption, time series is known as a black box method, while the associative is commonly called clear box or glass box method. Associative method is used when the change in one or more independent variable can be used to predict the change in the dependent variable. The most common technique in associative method is linear regression. Of course, we will discuss in detail about the formula, step-by-step -step calculation of the time series and associative method in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video and happy learning.